Shalom. I'm give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rachakwadash, the Lord to the Apostles and the Elders and Great Millstone, who do well. Peace and blessings to Sister Akim, just doing his work throughout the four corners of the earth, doing his thing in truth and sincerity. And this lesson here is based on a current event that's going on. Um, it is the La Palma volcano, and it's going down. You know, all these events that goes on, it goes on, um, it goes on, excuse me, for a purpose, okay? Um, this is kind of what it looks like. Let me see. This is, um, trying to get a depiction, really. And I'm not sure if I did a video on this already. Um, but La Palma Volcano is in Spain. And it's going crazy. And... I'm going to see um, if I can get an article. Um, okay. Here, it says politician suggests bombing erupting La Palma volcano to stop lava flow so the volcano has been erupting for 42 days and shows no signs of stopping bombing the sizzling volcano flow the La Palma still erupting volcano may be the only way to prevent the destruction the molten rivers are causing a Spanish politician has suggested Bombing runs could be used, according to its advocate, to di redirect the deadly lava from falling into po uh, po uh, populated areas. So they talking about bombing it. So according to them, they it's destroyed two thousand five hundred buildings. So with the island bracing for even more destruction due to a series of, of earthquakes. So, like I said, it was going down. So, on top of that volcano, the earthquakes are erupting. So, this is the power of the Most High. You know, he's working his power. He's not working his magic. He's working his power. So, isn't there a plane that could fly and drop a bomb it says it says uh, Kribulo suggested and stirred up criticism and produced a handful of memes depicting him alongside Bruce Willis in the film Armageddon in which the actor uh, character is tasked with destroying an earthbound asteroid with a nuclear bomb so these are prophetic events these things that happen they like happen um, like until one of um, the movies that Esau puts out in Hollywood that it, um, that has prof prophetic things that go on so these things that happen in the movies is really happening in real life and it's of biblical proportions you know these things are going to happen more and more and more the eruption hasn't caused any deaths and life has remained relatively undisturbed for the 85 residents who live away from the island's severely affected western side. The volcano is close to reaching its 
1949 record of 45, 47 days before its longest time spent erupting. You know, so, hey, man, shit going down. You know, and, uh, you know, when you think of these things, when you think of, you think of um, a lot of people dying, but so far it hasn't happened. But the possibility, you know, there's still no sign of ending. You know, and a lot of people like to downplay these type of things, but really, you know, these things, this is, <laughs> excuse me, these things is happening because the Lord likes to, you know, show his power. Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall, there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time and at the, that time that people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book so this is it, it, it is given um, uh, you know a description that the day of uh, you know coming of the Lord is going to be like a time trouble like was like no one has ever seen so you think of a uh, earth a big old earthquake a big old tsunami a big old volcano erupting on the niggas ass man okay and these are all the things that um gets gets us excited Cause the Lord said, "Look up, cause your redemption draw near." When you see these things, man. Revelation seven and three, saying, "Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads." So when it's when the when you know the the elect, the elect, the hundred and forty four thousand has to be sealed. When you know, and then these all of these prophecies are gonna get ready. To explode, you know, to, to take off. So that's what's stop, you know, that's what's not causing all these things, or you know, Daniel twelve and one to really happen. You know, the Lord's getting ready to to seal his men that his men and you know his chosen. You know, to fulfill the ultimate prophecies. So he's holding back that destruction uh, uh, through the angels. Okay, so La Palma is um is um you know a scene is just like a scene that that could be when uh, the Lord gets ready to come back. Cause lava is that's just the hottest it can really get. You know, lava destroying that. Um, Destroying things, destroying people, a tsunami drowning a place, just like on uh, these uh, movie, uh, movies, the prophetic movies that Esau comes out with. You know, that's all stuff that's going to happen, and then, um, you know, uh, that's called all going to happen when um, you know the legs is sealed, and the, and the Lord is pretty much. Here, okay. Luke twenty one and eleven, and it reads, "And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilences, and fearful sights and great signs, shall there be from heaven." You know, you can go on these social media platforms and see people saying, you know, um. Jesus is coming back, get ready, because these things are happening. You know, these prophetic events on TikTok. You know, if you look up certain hashtags and stuff, you know, they upload it. You know, a depiction if, you know, cities get hit with a big earthquake and a, a big tsunami. And you can see it. So it's not a time you can overlook these 
these things that are destined to happen. You know, you know, and um, that's definitely happening. The earthquakes, famines, pestilences. You know, and it's happening. Um, it's happening pretty much on, the, on the, any given day. More, and more. Um, you know, it's prophecy. That's the spirit we're supposed to be in. And um, it's they're saying, you know. It's, it's, you know, said that it could hit the east coast of um, America, Babylon, and create a tsunami. All types of events, you know, it says a time like never before, so these things, <coughs> these things haven't um, happened, so pretty much where anything can happen. And that's the point of, uh, that's the point of standing up on our watch. To see it and warn, and warn, so so the blood can be taken off our hands, and that we fulfill the mission that the Lord has put us on. And this is um, Acts two. And I'll close it. Acts two and nineteen, and I will show wonders in heaven, above and signs in the earth, behind blood and fire and vapor and smoke so these events happen these sightings of chariots of um, so called identified flying objects being sighted you know 2021 2020 the most putting it on the nose sightings like that Different type of um, rivers turning blood red, like the eclipse that happened in 2016, and blood moons and things of that nature. Those are wonders for uh, wonders in heaven and on the planet, uh, and you know, on earth. So, there's evidence that Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, is real. And, um, you know, a lot of people say, well, that's um, the hand of Esau because he has his left hand wonders, too. He likes to, um, you know, boot, uh, he likes to put um, things that are fake in the sky with his technology to deceive the people and, and, you know, with his wicked devices. But but the Most High has has his, and if Esau does something with weather or something, it's because the Most High allowed it to happen. So, you know, it's, I was gonna say the Blue Beam project, project, if I'm not mistaken. Um, You know, weather modification of things, energy weapons, all that stuff. Yeah, Blue Bling Project is conspiracy. NASA. Yep, so hey. You know, continue to check up on these things. So, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Chakrash, the wise of the apostles and elders, that great millstone who will well. Shalom.